Hello, beautiful souls. This is Michelle McCoy with Autumn Flow coming to you from Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And if you ever come visit Arkansas, make sure to come to Eureka Springs because it's one of my favorite places in the whole world. And today I have with me my very best friend, beautiful Nissa. And we're going to be teaching you a K roll pass, K roll pop pass is what we're going to call it. So first we will demonstrate it and then we will break it down. One, two, pop. So for this move, a K roll and a continuous K roll are definitely prerequisites. So if you don't have those moves down, I have tutorials for them on my YouTube channel or if you'd like a more extensive breakdown of those moves, I include them in some combos as well. You can check out my online courses at autumnflow.com. So let's do a quick recap of a regular K-Roll and a continuous K-Roll. And before you go into the K-Roll pop pass, you really want to make sure that you are very sufficient in your K-Roll and your continuous K-Roll. So for your regular K-Roll, your arms and your palms are always facing in towards the hoop that's very very um, important so that without the hoop your arms are doing this so they're moving from the top to the bottom simultaneously your wrists are always pointing in so when you add the hoop you grab it with your index finger on the top of the hoop you raise that arm straight up you want to make sure that your arms stay straight through this entire movement and you bring some movement into your wrist trying to keep your hoop as vertical as you can you lean back release it catch it with your other hand with your palm facing up your fingers wrapped around the hoop so that's just a quick recap of a regular k-roll to make it continuous the thing that changes is how you catch it at the bottom so you release it the same way but instead of catching it with your full grip around the bottom of the hoop you have to catch it in between your second and your third finger so i'll come a little bit closer so that you can see that just like that because that is what allows the hoop to then drop down into the next k roll so when you catch it at the bottom it's going to feel kind of awkward to push it out and then catch it again so your fingers are kind of going to like twist around the hoop as you are bringing them to the bottom and the hoop kind of pops out like an iso pop so this is what it looks like and it definitely helps to slow this movement down when you're first learning. So again, index finger on the top. You want to get your bottom hand prepared to catch it, catch it. And this is kind of an illusion trick. Like it looks like it's rolling from one hand down to the other one. But really the hoop is really just popping off of the middle of your chest. And you'll notice how I'm kind of leaning back and straight, straight arms, catching it. So definitely practice that before the continuous, and the continuous one will take you a lot longer to get down, but it's really fun. So this is again what that looks like. And that's just a really quick recap. So again, go check out my other tutorials if you need more help with that. We're gonna jump right into the pop now. So when you pop the hoop, you want to lean back. I like to put one foot behind the other and transfer my weight to the back hoop, to the back foot, so that when you pop the hoop, it doesn't just take off. You want it to pop up so that your partner can catch it. So I am going to do my K-roll pop to Nissa here. And you can see how I lean back. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we practiced this a few million times. Um, so one thing that's really important about the pop is right when I'm preparing for that last K-roll, I slow down the momentum of the hoop and I really raise that arm up as high as I can. 
so that my bottom hand can come higher and so that it's not down here when I try to pop it. So again, I'm gonna pop it to Nissa. Perfect. And when you pop it, you want to open up your hand to create this nice flat shelf to pop it off of, just like in a uh, chest roll pop. Okay, so now we are going to pass it to each other with our K roll pop. So when you're first practicing this, just do it with one K roll. So you can really do this move without the continuous K roll. The continuous K roll is just a, a really pretty extra effect to add in. So when you are preparing to pass it to each other, you really wanna make sure that you're a good distance from each other because that'll give you more response time and the hoop's not just gonna be like flying at your face. <laughs> so you're, let's say you're starting with your hoops down to your side, lift them up and decide whose hoop is gonna be in front and whose hoop is gonna be in back because the last thing you wanna do is like pass your hoops to each other and then have them like cling in the middle because <laughs> we've only done that a thousand times. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be in the front and then Nissa will be in the back. So we're gonna bring our arms up, preparing to go into it. And we usually count down one, two, three, go. And that's when we release the hoop is on go. So another thing that you definitely want to prep for is where you are aiming the hoop when you pop it to your partner. So I don't want to pop it directly to her. I wanna pop it to the side of her so that it's easier for her to catch it and she's not like, bam, hoop in my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna be popping the hoop to this side of her and this is gonna be popping the hoop to this side of me. Okay, so we're gonna raise our hoops up, go on the count of three, one, two, three. And that's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> so to add in the continuous K roll, it's a lot trickier because first of course you have to have your continuous K roll down really well and then you have to match the momentum of your hoop partner. One, two, three. Okay, so you can see how we really had to be watching each other as well as um, thinking about what we're doing and a lot of partner hooping is all about staying in tune with what your partner is doing. And so we'll talk more about that in other future partner hoop tutorials. Um, so now we're going to add in the pop. So we always check in with each other what position we're gonna start in, when we are gonna release the hoop, and when we are going to pop the hoop. Again, just be mindful of all of the pieces I mentioned earlier, where you're aiming for the hoop to go. It does not take a lot of momentum in your pop to do this move. So really is just like, just a little tap, especially when you're this close to each other. Um, it's fun to play with distances from your hoop partner and how sometimes it's fun to just see how high you can get it to go and pass it to each other. Um, and in this scenario, since we're so close, we're just gonna do a little, little pop. <laughs> just a little one. Arms up. Again, I'm gonna be going to that side. She's coming to this side. So kinda, you kinda have to think about what the next step coming is. Um, and then also it's fun to create like a little synced up duo sequence like when you catch the hoop. So maybe we'll add a little extra at the end of this tutorial. What do you want to do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. We'll just go with it. Right. <laughs> okay. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That's so fun. It feels so good. And then let's try it without counting. Really want to make sure that you keep eye contact with your partner and make sure that you are watching their hoop as well as yours so that you can match the momentum, okay? One, two, three. Okay, so now let's add even a little bit more to this sequence. So we are going to start with our 
three continuous K rolls, pop it to each other, repeat that, three continuous K rolls, pop it to each other just like we demonstrated, and then we're gonna add a little bit extra at the end. Isn't that pretty? So we just uh, grabbed the hoop the same way as we did the first time from a pop, and then we sweeped it behind us and kind of did a half isolation to go into this pretty barrel roll, which I love doing in this pretty flowy skirt, but I can't do too many of them because I'm a dope and I forgot my wireless mic. So if you haven't noticed, I've got this wire hanging across the stage <laughs> but that is this fun um, K roll pop sequence we'll call it K roll partner K roll pop sequence yeah yeah have fun with it and thank you so much for watching this is my very first tutorial it looks weird this way <laughs> this is my very first tutorial um, partner tutorial with my bestie Nissa we started hooping at the same time and another thing that is really awesome with us when we hoop is I am left hand dominant and she's right hand dominant so it kind of works perfectly when we're doing other passes to each other um, that require coming from different sides so such as chest roll pops such as chest roll pops to each other let's try that one let's try it for the fun of it yeah it's gonna be a very little pop a very little pop okay, okay. we're like almost cooking i know Fine. just a itty, itty bitty oh. pop okay. okay all right so go on three okay one two three yeah we still got it what's up we we'll dropped it right after that <laughs> but all right guys thank you so much again check out my other tutorials on my youtube channel if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up leave a comment and check out my amazing gallery of online courses uh, many of them feature other incredible hoopers at autumnflow.com You ready? Yeah. Okay. Straight face. Okay. One, two. Stop smiling at me. You're going to make me laugh. Okay. So to add, it, you. All right. Is, is my cord going to go that far? Into the other. That was good, right? Is that good? Well, that part. The lightning bugs are out. They're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, we were going in. Oh, me. sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> have a blooper reel in your Yeah, I told. Right? I always have blooper reels. You know, it's like part of it. That was so cute. Yeah, wasn't that cute? <laughs>